so here we are live with the brain gym hello everybody i'm sanjana patacharya i'm from the playbook and i'm here to host this quiz this fantastic quiz with my fantastic participants so today's quiz is the brain gym and it's a general knowledge quiz for uh, the age group of children uh, for the age group 7 to 15 so we have our vtvtvt participants right with me and yes we are going to uh, start off with the finals round so these uh, lovelies have crossed the semi finals round and now they are here to uh, play the finals round so uh, the audience connected with me please give them a cheer in the comment section we are streaming live on youtube and uh, you all can cheer up for my dear dear participants here we have uh, yes so we are live on youtube and uh, before we proceed with the a uh, quiz so let me tell you about the playbook so the playbook is india's first holistic development platform and we can, we can help you ace your english your gk and your logical reasoning skills so there's a lot going on on the platform uh, you can simply go to google and access www.theplaybook.fun that's the website and you can also download the app android users can download the app the playbook create and learn that's the app you can access everything from so moving on with uh, the finals round today everybody so before i proceed with the finals round i must say i'm really really proud to announce that all my participants here eight of them have been chosen out of many 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 applicants namely 4000 hundred uh, applications and now they are here in the finals round so let's give them a big cheer and yes we have kept speed and accuracy as the top criteria so that is how we will be judging uh, the participants today so we will be moving on and before i proceed further i would like to name my participants one after another i will say the number and the name of the participant we have anay at number 1 have aisha at number 2 Make my three, Mishika at number four, Soumya at number five, Tanisha at number six, Tanish at number seven, and Sarjit at number eight. So everyone, we are going to start off with the quiz. Uh, with a smiling face. So are you all ready? Geared up? All ready? Yes. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So all the very best from my side, everyone. Here it comes. So we'll slowly proceed with the. final round and i'm going to tell you all about the rules okay so let's be patient and eyes on the screen you'll only get 10 seconds to answer a question okay i will be counting 10 seconds so you score 10 points for a correct answer and if you fail to answer a question the the question passes on to the next participant all right now there are no negative marking involved in the first round remember that no negative marking for first round if you fail to answer a question the same question will go on to the next participant and if person 2 answers the question right the next person will have a new question okay please do not switch off your camera or your mic failing to do so will result in a minus 10 marking you might be disqualified so please follow the rules and please do not answer out of your turns i give you a question i take your name you answer okay so do not interrupt me please allow me to finish the question along with the options only then can you answer all right otherwise there will be negative marking so if i or the team sense any kind of foul play you will be disqualified from the uh, quiz then and there all right so we are going to start off everyone ready is everybody ready yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am are you ready yes others are clear Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, oh, yes, keep your eyes and your ears open. All right, wonderful. So, we will start off with round one. Question one for participant one. Anay, here it comes. Here up. Ten seconds. How many years are there in a millennium? Option one, A, twelve hundred. Option B, hundred. Option C, ten thousand. Option D, thousand. Yes. The answer is D thousand. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right then. Fine. I'll give you the first ten points of today's first round. Very good, Anil. Great job. Yes, it is thousand. A millennium is a period of thousand years. The term can also refer to an interval of time beginning on any date. So great job, Anil, on your first ten points. 
So moving on with question two, we have participant two, Aisha. Aisha, this one's for you. How many primary colors are there? Seven. Sir? Yes, ma'am. You are incorrect. So the question passes on to participant number three, Meghna. How many primary colors are there? Three. Are you sure? Yes. Are you completely sure? Yes. Okay, fine. I'll give you the mm -hmm. I'll give you the 10 points. Well, that is the correct answer. There are three primary colors. Okay, red, yellow, and blue. Color theorists since the 17th century and many artists and designers have taken considered red, yellow, and blue to be the primary colors. Okay, primary colors. Listen to the question carefully. So we have participant three, Meghna at 10 points. The next question is for participant four. Kritika, here comes the next question. Eyes on the screen, please. Which place is known as the roof of the world? Your options are A, Tibet, B, Nepal, C, Vietnam, D, Bhutan. Ma'am, A, Tibet. Shall I take your answer? Shall I lock it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, 10 points for you. Then, Mishika, Tibet is the correct answer. Central Asia's Tibetan plateau is justifiably nicknamed the roof of the world. Its average elevation is more than 4,500 meters. It's that high up from the ground. So, good job, Mishika. Moving on to participant five. Uh, participant five, Soumya, we are up. Next question. Where is Angkor Wat located? No, ma'am, I don't know the answer. All right, the question passes on to participant six. Tanisha, do you know the answer? You are not audible, my dear. No, ma'am. No, question passes to Tanish. Seven, participant seven. Uh, ma'am, it's Cambodia. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, fine. I'm going to give you 10 marks for sure. 10 points. You score Cambodia is the correct answer. Angkor Wat is a Buddhist temple complex in northwest Cambodia. It's a national symbol and sacred site. And it's also a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's a very significant tourist destination. Great job, Tanish. Here are your 10 points. Moving on. Participant 8, uh, Sarji. Yes. Which country is called the land of the rising sun? Burma, Bhutan. Option C, Japan. I'm so sorry, Sarji. I'll have to, uh, be, even before you, I take your answer, you will have a minus 5. You interrupted me. You did not let me read out the options. Okay, so this question disqualifies. The next question will pass on to participant one again. Anai, we have another question for you, but the answer for this one is Jap Japan. Okay, moving on. Anai, next question for you. Last question of the first round, which is the most sensitive organ in our body? The most sensitive organ in our body is heart. Sorry? Heart. Well, that is the wrong answer. I'm sorry, I cannot give you the 10 points. Aisha, question passes to you. The most sensitive organ in our body is skin. Skin? Okay, yes. well, girl, I'll give you the 10 points. It is skin. Good job, Aisha. You have 10 points. Skin is the sensitive, most sensitive organ on our body. It's a fleshy surface. We have hair, nerves, glands, and it, it helps us feel senses to touch, heat, pressure, cold, and pain. Very good, Aisha. With this, we conclude the first round, everyone. So at the end of round one, we will have our organizer tell us the scores. So we'll wait patiently for the scores. Let's see, what are the scores? I will read out the scores one after another. We'll gear up for round two. Meanwhile, everybody, round two will have a separate set of rules. I will be announcing the rules in a while. So we have the scores right over here. We have Anai at 10 points. Tanish at 10, Meghna 10, Mishika 10, Aisha at 0. Where is Aisha? Aisha, because you got one correct and one incorrect. 
Okay, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Aisha will have uh, organizer. Please take note. This round does not have a negative marking. Can you please review Aisha's uh, marks? Samia at zero. Tanisha at zero. Sarji at minus five. Okay. So Aisha, you have ten points. Okay. No negative marking in this round. Anay, Tanish, Meghna, Mishika, and Aisha all at ten. So I'm at Tanisha at zero. Sarji at minus five for inter interrupting. So moving on, let's see the second round of brain gym. Let's see. Now to a new set of rules, everyone. So you will get only ten seconds to answer a question. Right, right, like I said. If you fail to answer, the question will pass to the next participant. This round involves a negative marking. If you do not know an answer, you can say pass, but do not give me the wrong answer. That's going to result in negative marking. Rest all of the rules remain the same. Please do not interrupt me. All right, save your scores. All right, moving on. So, uh, uh, which participant answered the last? Aisha, did you answer the question last? Skin, right? So, question uh, round two. Question one passes on to Meghna. Meghna, we will begin the second round with you. All right. Moving on. Round two. Question one. Identify this Japanese national dress. Ma'am, should I answer? The ten seconds are over, Meghna. Your uh, the question passes to Mishika. Um. The ten seconds are over, child. Number five, Samia. Do you know the answer? Ma'am, kimono. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay, then let's see. Maybe I'll give you ten points, Samia. Very good. So first ten points of round two scored by Samia. It's kimono. Kimono is a traditional Japanese garment and the national dress of Japan. It, it, it is a, a T-shape and can be worn by uh, sometimes men and women both wear it. Anay, I'll give you. A, I'll pass you off with a warning. I saw you muting yourself. Please do not do that. I'll give you a warning. All right. So, Samia, you have ten points. Participant six, Tanisha, are you ready? The next question is for you. Yes. Can you identify this Indian dish? Can you be louder? Puri and chole. Puri and chole. Okay, I'm really sorry. It's not puri and chole. You have a minus five for yourself. I'm so sorry. Tanish, question passes to you. Uh, it's chole bature. It's chole bature. All right, fine. Everybody's yeah. fucking lips. Okay, fine. It's chole bature. Yes, it is. So chole bature, it is. It's not normal puri chole. It's the. It's a North Indian dish, and it is also you know found in many areas of the Indian subcontinent. It is also known as. Uh, it is a combination of ch chana, chickpeas, and puri. All right. So moving on. Next question. Uh, participant eight, Sarjit, identify this logo. Flipkart, ma'am. Okay, fine. No, uh, no delay here. You score your ten points, Sarjit. Very good. It is Flipkart. Very nice. Flipkart is an e-commerce company based in Bengaluru, founded by Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal. Earlier, they used to sell out only books, and now they have expanded their product categories. Very good, Sarjit. Participant uh, number one, Anay, get ready for the next question. Can you identify this fictional character? Yes. Yes. The character is Mowgli. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Fine. All right. Uh, who wrote Who wrote uh, this character? Well, I'm just trying to mess with you. It's all right. Yes, it is Mowgli. You get ten points. Very good. Uh, Anay, it's a fictional character and the main character protagonist of Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book. So. Uh, it also has a real uh, life incident attached to it. We can maybe find out about it later on. Yes. So it, it the character appears in both the collections, the Jungle Book and the Second Jungle Book. Very good, Anai. Okay. Participant two, uh, Aisha. Be ready. Next question. Question five. Identify this creature. Iguana. Wrong answer. I'm so sorry. It's not. Uh, number three, Meghna. Yeah. 
your 10 seconds are over. Meghna, Mishika, the question passes to you. Um, can crocodile? Oh my, Is the, does it look like a crocodile, Mishika? My, minus uh, five. So sorry. Participant five, Soumya? Um, pass. Pass, okay. Tanisha, do you know? It's not it's Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. Okay, fine. I'll give you the 10 points. It is a Komodo dragon. Very good, Tanisha. So, it's a Komodo dragon, also known as the Komodo monitor. And it's a member of the monitor lizard family. All right. It can reach up to 10 feet. Really uh, huge. All right. Very good, Tanisha. Congratulations, Tanish. The next one for you. Participant 7, or identify this author. Uh, pass. Pass. Okay. Eight participant eight, Sarjeet. Ma'am, pass. Pass. Okay. And uh, Ane, coming to you. Pass. Okay. Uh, two, Aisha, participant two. Pass. All right. Okay. So, surprising. Participant three, Meghna. Pass. Mishika. Ma'am, pass. Oh my God. Okay. Soumya. Pass. Anisha, participant six, do you know this author? Pass. So we have completed a full circle. This is Roald Dahl. Oh my God. This is Roald Dahl, one of your favorite children's books authors. Come on. So it's a British novelist, short story writer, poet, screenwriter, and wartime fighter. Writer of uh, many, many, many books. You all might have read his books. It's all right. Can come as a surprise, right? Never mind. So we will move on. So Tanisha was the last participant to answer. Question, next question, question seven for Tanish. Identify this planet. Uh, it's Venus. Shall I take it? Yes. Your? Yes. Fine. Yes, it is Venus. Very good, Tanish. You scored 10 points. Venus is a terrestrial planet and is also known as Earth's sister planet at times because of the similarity in size, mass and proximity to the sun. Uh, its closeness to the sun. So it is uh, different from uh, uh, Earth, but it is also known as Earth's sister planet. Very good, Tanish. So with this, I think we conclude the uh, second round. Uh, we will have the scores now. And very good, everybody. You all are doing awesome. So let's see the scores. All right. So we have Tanish at 30. Anay at 20, Meghna 10, Soumya 10, Mishika 5, you got one correct and one incorrect. Aisha at 5, you got one correct and one incorrect. Sarjeet at 5, uh, because you got one correct and you had interrupted earlier. So minus 5 plus 5 gives you 5. So Tanisha at 5. Okay. So these are the scores for second round. We will move on to round 3. All right. And we will start with participant 1, Anay. Oh, oh, sorry, so sorry. Uh, Sarjeet. Yes, Tanisha? Ma'am, I am supposed to, to get 10, right? I didn't get a minus 5. You answered 1 incorrect. You will get minus 5. Tanisha said incorrect at round 1, in which you said there is no negative marking. Yes, but you answered, the, you answered it incorrect. Will you get points for it? No, right? It doesn't involve... I answered correct in the comment round. was answering correctly only, ma'am. Yes, and the same round, you made one incorrect answer, right? That's why. I didn't make That was my first correct answer, ma'am. Okay, hold on. I'll just clear it out with my organizer, okay? Just give me a moment. Before we proceed to round three, Sarjeet will begin with you. Clear up. Just a moment. Okay, now see, uh, you had, uh, you answered the Chole Bhature answer incorrect, right? You got minus 5 for that, correct? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, then you, then you scored a right answer. You got 10 points, correct? Okay. Yes, so minus 5 and then 10. Okay, ma'am. Got it? Okay, very good. So let's move on then. Round 3, Sarjeet, here it comes, but before that, rules. 
So you will get only 10 seconds again to answer a question. Be very quick. Be on your feet. If you fail to answer a question, the question passes. Negative marking is involved in this round again. If you do not know an answer, pass it, but refrain from uh, wrong answers because it will result in minus five. Okay. The rest of the rules remain same. Please do not interrupt me. Let me say the uh, options properly. Fine. Great. So, Sarjeet, here we go. Which one is not amongst the seven wonders of the world? Mecca, Medina, Statue of Liberty, Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China. Ma'am, the answer is option A, Mecca, Medina. Mecca, Medina? Okay. Yes, okay, fine. The uh, first 10 points of round three go to you, Sarjeet. It is Mecca, Medina. It is not one of the seven wonders of the world. However, it's the home of the Kaaba, situated in Masjid al Haram. It is a cubicle. Uh, building which was initially built by Prophet Ibrahim and his son Ismail. Very good, Sarji. So, question two, we will start with Anay. Question two for you. What dinosaur themed book was turned into a blockbuster movie in 1993? Sorry? Park. Park. I can't hear you. Park. 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 Minus five. Are you saying park? Park. P are you saying P A R K park? Okay. Oh, okay. So sorry. So sorry for the confusion. Number two, Aisha. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park? Are you yes, sure? Okay. Yes, okay, yes, well, it is the correct answer, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is a 1993 American science fiction. It was, it is uh, adapted from the uh, novel franchise uh, written by Kathleen Kennedy and yeah, directed by Steven Spielberg. So very good, Aisha. It's uh, the same novel, Jurassic Park, written by Michael Clayton. So very good. Aisha, you scored 10 points. Uh, moving on, participant three, Meghna, ready? Yes, ma'am. Identify this dish. Your 10 seconds are over, Meghna. Vishika. No, most. You have a minus five, Vishika. It's yeah. not no mos. <laughs> okay, number five. Participant five, Soumya. Ma'am, pass. Six, Tanisha. Do you know the dish? Pass? Okay. Tanish? Uh, I'd say kimchi. Minus five, my dear. Tanish, no. Sarjeet? Simpsons. No. That's the incorrect answer. Sarjeet, Anay, do you know the answer? Pass. Participant two, Aisha? Pass. Pass. Number three, Soumya? Sorry. So sorry. Number three, Meghna? Oh, we have uh, gone to gone a ra whole round. Okay, so this is wonton. Okay, looks like momo. It's not a momo. It's wonton. It's a type of Chinese dumpling commonly found across regional styles of Chinese cuisine. Okay, so they are made just like momos, more or less like momos, but they are not momos. Moving on then. Uh, who was the last participant to answer? No, not Sarji. They moved on to Anay, and then he moved on to Aisha. Yes, so yes, we start with Meghna. We had done a full round on Meghna. So, Meghna, this question is for you. Identify this fish. Over. 10 seconds over. Mishika. Um, Ma'am, pass. Pass. Number five, Soumya. Ma'am, pass. Pass. Number six, Tanisha. Do you know the fish? Tanish? Uh, uh, it's a puffer fish. The puffer fish? Yes. Okay, you're puffing up your scores. Correct. Very good. It's a puffer fish. It can inflate into a ball, as you saw in the picture, and it can evade its predators like that. It can blow. It's, it's a really clumsy swimmer, so it has got that bod gift of blowing itself up. Very good, Tanish. You have 10 points for yourself, Sarjeet. Be ready. Identify this scientist. Ten seconds over. Uh, participant one, Anay. No, 
Okay, pass. Pass. Pass to Aisha. Pass. All right. Meghna. Pass. Pass. Number four, Mishika. And pass. Number five, Soumya. And pass. Kanisha, do you know the answer? Pass. Yes. Pass. Kanish. A pass. Sarjit. Complete. Yes, we have completed. Okay, again. All right, never mind. So, it is Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose. He was a bio biologist, physicist and botanist and an early writer of science fiction. He's an eminent Indian artist. Know your uh, scientists. Go on. Okay, so we, will, we have completed a full circle at Sarjit. So, we will continue with Anay. I, this logo belongs to a famous brand. Identify it. Uh, two. Participant two, Aisha. Nestle. Sorry? Nestle. Are you saying it correct? N E S T L E. Well, okay, fine. I'll give you the points. It's Nestle. All right? Nestle. I'll give you the points. You have corrected, you have answered it correct. It's a multinational food and nutrition company with its headquarters in Switzerland. It's also a large food company all around the world. So very good, Aisha. 10 points for you. Number three, Meghna. Next one. And the last question of round three for you, which is the densest jungle in the world? Ten seconds over. Mishika? The uh, Amazon forest. Are you, uh, do you know the answer? Sure. Yes. Are you sure about it? Yes, ma'am. All right, fine. You will get the 10 points. Uh, it is the Amazon uh, rainforest covering much of the northwestern Brazil and extending to Colombia, Peru and South American countries. Mm -hmm. It also includes the powerful Amazon River. Very good, Mishika. So with this, we conclude the uh, quiz. Now we will have the final scores, everyone. So let's see what have we uh, leveled down at. Okay. So we have Tanish at 35. You got one incorrect. Aisha at 25. Where is Aisha? Three correct, one incorrect. Anai at 20. Meghna at 10, Soumya at 10, Mishika at 10, you got 2 correct, 2 incorrect, Sarjit at 10, you interrupted me, minus 5, 2 correct, 20, then 1 incorrect, okay, so Tanisha at 5, 1 incorrect and 1 correct, so those are the final scores, and as we can see, so we have Tanish, Aisha and Anay. So you all are the top three uh, winners here. So Tanish is leading the scoreboard. Very good. Uh, Tanish, so congratulations. Uh, everyone, you, here we are at the final score. So great. Uh, well, so moving on, as we know, uh, Tanish, congratulations. Meghna and Soumya, congratulations to you. And all my participants, you all did awesome today. So clap for yourselves. You all deserve it. Come on, clap for yourselves. Clap for yourselves. You all deserve it. Very good. Great. Amazing participation and very nice. I loved uh, hosting the quiz with you all. So I will be just sharing my screen in a minute. Okay. So winner takes uh, away Amazon vouchers. And yeah, I'm just going to share my screen. So you all will be, uh, yes, you will be forwarded the Amazon vouchers. You will be uh, conveyed uh, about all your prizes. So very good, everyone. So keep it up uh, like this. And also, let's not forget, tomorrow we have the finals round of 365 festivals. It's a quiz on global festivals. So uh, all those watching us, please stay tuned with us. We are going to conduct the festivals uh, finals quiz tomorrow. So you all can stay tuned with us, be connected, and head on to the uh, Daybook platform. All right. So with this, I will uh, conclude the quizzing session today. Awesome. So take care, everybody. Take care and bye bye. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma welcome, welcome, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.